Hey guys, and welcome to the part two of the gamers, developers, whatever it was, building. This one's slower because it's much shorter. Um, I had a lot of problems making this video. My charger wasn't working. The Sims wasn't working. It was a nightmare. Basically, what I did downstairs, though, is I took the basketball court outside to the deck because I really wanted them to have at least a powder room at the bottom floor because... All the bathrooms upstairs are connected to each bathroom and I just thought it would be very awkward for them to have to go upstairs every time they need to use the toilet. So at least a powder room, it's literally just a toilet and a sink and a couple of flowers because I had to have my plants everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, now the basketball court is still in the house but it's at the deck and they still have the grill, you'll see it in a minute. Um, and then this is sort of like the little, I don't know, a den I guess in front of the deck. Just put some rocks here and there and yeah didn't do much um this building is some lot slower than the last one if you can tell because i it didn't take me as long because all the divisions were already done and everything so you can see what i'm doing a little bit better and now we're moving on to the second bathroom uh where we left off yesterday and as you can see my bedrooms are sort of small this one is uh blue because I did the other one very girly so I figure I'll keep this one sort of boyish. Um, one thing about my bedrooms in general whenever I build is I don't tend to go big with them. I know that a lot of um, well-known sims builders do this luscious beautiful huge work and it's not that I don't want to put the work in it it's just that I always try to think of the functionality of my buildings and sims just don't spend a lot of time in their bedrooms let's be real so I just don't see the point of wasting a large part of my space that I have available to build in a bedroom. So I kind of just keep it very simple, you know, throw a bed. If I can fit a closet, I will, but I don't do like walk-in closets and stuff like that. Not usual in any ways. And I mean, this build, because I took a big part of the second floor to have that loft feel, um, the bedrooms came out small, but I don't know. It doesn't bother me. With those windows and that view, nothing can bother you or your sim rather, right? So now I'm just giving a bit of a touch to the wall so that it's not all brick. I thought just a teeny detail uh, would do. Now we're moving on to the third, I guess four now, and final bathroom, which is the biggest one of the house, but it's also the most difficult because of the weird shape that it ended up being. But I did end up fitting a shower and a bathtub there it is, and then just decoration here and there. I found this wall piece of that, like a decoration piece that I really liked and then I'm placing it there try to place a cabinet but the color wasn't working so I ended up setting for that playing around with some rocks just to make it less white because this one was so big it was like so white it made me feel a bit of hospital feeling and I didn't like that um, but yeah that's pretty much it I find another piece that one that I really liked I moved the uh, little cabinet and and then I did some plants because I have to have my plants I've said that and then to the last bedroom I moved the door because it was in giving me enough space for the bed where it was placed like it was it was it was gonna be in like an awkward position this way I could kind of do it the same way as the other um, bedroom and this one I decided to go with gray and yellow because that was kind of neutral it's not boyish or girlish sort of for either or both i don't know it's up to you <laughs> um and yeah and then just some wall decorations and i don't think i did any sitting area or anything uh originally i wanted to give them like an arts sort of stage in each bedroom like the first bedroom i think has an easel so i want to throw maybe a guitar or something but I figure you know why not all of them have to be artist and also i did come up with a really good idea for what my next bill is going to be it's going to be the same apartment because i feel like this space has a lot of um what you call it a lot of um i can't think of the word holy crap potential <laughs> anyways that's bedroom number three and now the nooks i decided to put the gaming arcade in that one nook and then this one is the workout one you have your 
punching bag and your treadmill and your workout machine. The treadmill looking out the window I thought was awesome. And then here you have more relaxing and gaming uh, available for this programmer slash developers. I tried to place a hookah I think in there. Yeah, there, but it's just no. It looked weird, so I figured, you know, well, let's just do a couch so some of them can game and some of them can just sit down and relax. The one thing that I forgot to do there is a stereo, now that I'm thinking about it. I, 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 will, I will go back and give them a stereo, or if you do this, Bill, I suggest maybe a little stereo up there so they can use it to relax. Oh, yeah, and I did the big light in the middle because there's very rare occasions when you get to use those big lights unless you have a loft going on it just doesn't happen so yeah that's pretty much it then i did the rail to keep it sort of similar to what's the downstairs feeling and then just some decoration threw a rock in there so it wasn't a wood and i did i put even um security cameras in some places just for the fun of it i mean they're very techy i figure they would appreciate it i also give them that what like stock market sign um also because it just looked techy you'll see it eventually i think it put it over that bush yeah over here somewhere um i don't know and then some plants so there was some green yeah right there there it is. Oh, I put it over the dartboards. I thought I put it on the other side. There we go. But yeah, um, and then some uh, wall details as well. So it's not a brick, just like downstairs. Downstairs was red, so I decided to go with the turquoise uh, color. Turquoise? I can't speak for whatever reason. And then I brought in Riley just to test those stools because I wasn't sure. But that's it. Now there are some screenshots for you guys to see. It's the outside view. And um, and then the view from the kitchen, which I really, really like. And then it's another outside view. You can see the basketball court and everything that is still there. And, um, and then the actual kitchen and the TV area. And there's how it looks from the balcony. I thought that was pretty cool. Teeny powder room downstairs. You can see the toilet in the mirror there. And then the upstairs where you can see the downstairs from, which is really cool. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like. I apologize once more for having to split this build in two videos. It wasn't my original idea. So the weather messed with me. But um, we finished it. And I will come back with another building for this same apartment because I have a great idea for it. It's going to be completely different. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know um, if you do it. What's your version of it? Send me pictures. I don't know. Um, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys like Look at that view. Isn't it awesome? I will see you guys on the next build. I hope you liked. And yeah, have a great day. I'll see you next time.